Lipid structure or triglyceride structure. As the name suggests, triglyceride, lipids are made up of tri, three, fatty acids and a glycerol molecule. This diagram shows the general structure of a, tr of a fatty acid. You have the carboxylic acid group, the hydrocarbon chain, and then the methyl group which terminates the hydrocarbon chain. This section here can be of variable length, this section and this section is fixed. In a triglyceride you'll have three of these fatty acids and they will be bonded to one glycerol molecule. This is glycerol, which is a three carbon alcohol. The fatty acids bond to the glycerol across the carboxylic acid group. Here you have a double bond O and an OH group. And so just like in the carbohydrates, you get the bond forming through a condensation reaction, eliminating water. This is a more sort of beautiful picture, really, uh, showing this. So here we have the alcohol and the carboxylic acid group, and that shows the bond. The bond here is called an ester bond. And you can see that in the triglyceride here, you have the glycerol, ester bond, ester bond, ester bond, one, two, three triglycerides. Very straightforward. Now, there are two forms of fatty acid. You can have your saturated fatty acid, which means you have an unbroken chain of single carbon-carbon bonds, or you can have an unsaturated fatty acid, which will have at least one double bond in it. The presence of the double bond causes a bend in the shape of the fatty acid. Now, what that does is a saturated fatty acid will be straight, and so lots of saturated fatty acids can line up together in a straight line, which means that large numbers of hydrogen bonds can form between the strands. If you have large numbers of hydrogen bonds forming, then that means that it's going to require a lot of energy to um, break those up. So saturated, as fatty, saturated fats tend to be solids at room temperature, whereas unsaturated fatty acids form fewer hydrogen bonds because they are bent, so they cannot um, line up so neatly together. Um, it would be far less neat, which means you have less hydrogen bonds, which means that they tend to be liquids at room temperature. And this is all because of their structure.